Hi folks, this is all the fruit and today I harvested some exploding planet fruit. Yeah, that's what they're called like and that's what they look like. Well, at least when they are, well, they look like a planet. When they are ripe, they look like an exploding planet. And those are the little pieces of the exploding planet because the fruit itself is about the size of a football. Not an American football, a football in all the remaining 200 countries in the world. Well, the exploding planet fruit, or hala fruit, or scientifically pandanus, is one of the most useful plants in the tropics, in the Indo-Pacific. You use basically every part. It has thousands of different uses. And the fruit are edible. However, a lot of them are not very tasty. But the taste is improved by cooking. I already made a couple pandanus videos, so this time I'll concentrate on the cooking. So I boiled those in water. First I harvested two species. The ones with the three incisions here, a pandanus baptisti. I think I have three of them here. And the ones without, a pandanus puriformis. Actually, I can also take the, I can also take some uncooked ones. So here on the left is a puriformis, on the right a baptisti. Well, when they were completely ripe or overripe, they were kind of good and edible, but um, not perfect since there was still some remnant of oxalate crystals in them, which supposedly you can remove by cooking, by boiling them. Well, fruit are quite popular in, yeah, in the Indo-Pacific, actually, yet... Basically, they say the, the outer fibers of the fruit are very popular as dental floss because when you eat the fruit, your teeth will gonna get completely invaded by them. But they say the flesh is quite okay, especially when boiled. And they say when boiled, it has a fruity, flowery aroma. And yeah, indeed, when I boiled them, the water smelled fruity and fl flowery. Also with the typical aromatic pandano smell which I smell in the, in the raw ones too, but the boiled ones smell stronger and smell, well, like something fruity and flowery which has been boiled. So let's try them. Um, oh, I forgot, I think this is Pandanus puriformis. Let's first try the Pandanus puriformis. Here in the left plate, I cook them for about 15 minutes, those for about 30 minutes. So let's see. Huh? You don't eat this upper part, it's really hard. I think you can still hear when I hit it with my nail, it sounds like I'm... It basically sounds like I'm hitting plastic, so this part, horribly hard. This is the soft part. Here you can see the dental floss, all the fibers. Hmm. I think there is still some remnant of oxalate here. It tastes like a boiled pandanus, basically. It's softer. That's good, but there is still some oxalate. Now let's try the... This is the Baptiste team. And I think that some animal already enjoyed it a little bit. Hmm. I think that some animal enjoyed it because this one is a hundred times more aromatic. Hmm. More sweet and aromatic. <clears throat> In this case, Baptiste is much better than Puriformis. Now let's try the ones which I cooked for about 30 minutes. First here a Puriformis. Hmm. Tastes like some cooked, some like boiled apples. Mm -hmm. Better than the 15 minute thing. Definitely softer and more aromatic. But I'm more excited about the Baptiste. Well, here is one which the animals didn't enjoy so much. Now let's see. Hmm. Bah. Soft, but it tastes fermented. Even after 30 minutes of cooking, this one tastes fermented. Strange. Okay, I 
fra i diadar baptisti. It's a bit better. Yeah, not so bad, I think. The boiling made them soft, removed some of the oxalate, most of the oxalate, they are just tiny traces, and improved the flavor. It's being said that the, they have a flavor of mango, pineapple, and banana, and I tried hard to find this flavor in the fresh fruit, but here the ones I boiled for 30 minutes, Yeah, totally. The taste of mango, pineapple, and banana. Mm -hmm. Yep, especially this Baptist tea. Ah, let's see how the piriformis are. Cannot be that piriformis are so inferior. Mm. No, piriformis is much more boring. Tastes like apple, quite a mild apple taste. I think a mild apple taste cannot beat some pretty strong pineapple, banana and mango taste. So yeah, well, there were dozens of ripe fruits on the piriformis and only one ripe fruit on the Baptist team. So unfortunately, no infinite, no in infinite, um, supply of tasty baptisty fruit but now I know those things look pretty much the same when raw they taste quite similar but when boiled the baptisty is definitely much superior to piriformis so I learned something today folks if you see some exploding planet fruit somewhere it, they grow a lot on the Canary Islands in parks and even in the warmer parts of the Mediterranean in parks <clears throat> boil a couple of the keys or segments, you're probably not going to regret it, or maybe you will if there's still oxalate in them. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Tenerife with its countless fruit species, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.